This right here is the BenQ EW2770QZ monitor. It's a 27 inch IPS panel, but it's got some really unique features that is gonna be up your alley if you're a content creator or working in an office. Stick around, cause it's TechWiz time. Hey guys, hope you had a great break. My name's Jonathan and this is TechWiz Time, where I create technology tutorial and review videos. In this video, I'm gonna be looking at the BenQ EW2770QZ monitor. Now, before we go any further, I just wanna let you know that BenQ did send this monitor out for a review. Thoughts and opinions are still my own and I wasn't paid for this review either. So with that said, let's look at some of the features of this monitor. Now, one of the biggest features of this monitor, first off the bat, is the eye care feature. Now how this is implemented is through a Brightness Intelligence Plus mode, which to put it in simplest terms is a sensor underneath the monitor that determines the lighting conditions where you're sitting. So say for example, it's full daylight and you've got light coming in from outside, then it will adjust the color temperature and the brightness accordingly. So this is where eye care comes into it. By changing these settings inside the monitor automatically through the sensor underneath, you're putting less strain on your eyes, which means there's a reduced chance of getting a headache or getting tired at the end of the day. So it's really easy to turn the feature on. All you've got to do is go to the BI Plus menu and turn it on. Pretty simple, really. The monitor takes care of the rest, so you don't have to worry about any other settings. So that's Brightness Intelligence Plus out of the way, but what about the other features of the BenQ EW2770QZ? Can't believe I got that. So it is a 27 inch LCD display that's an IPS panel. So you're gonna get really good colors from this. And speaking of colors, this monitor has 100% sRGB. This is a huge plus for those that are in the content creation industry. And this can be changed up through the menus again whenever you need it. As well as the 100% sRGB profile, you've also got Rec 709 in there as well, for those that are interested. So the other thing with this 27 inch monitor is that it's a 16 by nine aspect ratio, but its resolution is 2560 by 1440. So it's not quite 4K, but it is a larger resolution than a 1080p monitor. And because this is an IPS display as well, it's got really great viewing angles, up to 178 degrees actually. And you can see here how far you can actually get it on the side. And the colors look just as good as they were if you were viewing it straight on. That's pretty awesome. It's got two two watt speakers built in and these aren't the best, but for the people that this is aimed at, which is not really gamers, it's more of office and content creators, it's just a little bit of a speaker there that you wouldn't normally have on the desk. So flipping it over and looking underneath, you can see there's the on off switch. There's also a three pin power port. So unlike most monitors these days that come with that, you know, the big power brick, this one has that all built in. So you don't need to worry about having that under the desk. Over to the ports, you've got two HDMI ports and a display port. And lastly, on the very end is a headphone jack. Actually, and while we're looking at it, there's also a Kensington lock there. So great for businesses that want to secure this monitor. So that's the ports out of the way. Next, we'll have a look at the stand itself. So one thing that I really like about the stand is its quick release plate. So basically you push the button on the back of the monitor and the stand pulls away. Really great if you're needing to pack it down and move it to another desk. And lastly, as well as Brightness Intelligence Plus, it also has a low blue light filter, which you can also access through the menu. So say for example, you're just reading a lot of web pages or you've got a lot of documents that you've got to read, then changing this to the appropriate setting will actually cut out that blue light, which again is gonna be great for your eyes. Hence why this range is the eye care range. Now with all great things, there are a couple of things that I didn't really like about this monitor. The main thing is the actual stand itself. You can tilt this up or down, but unfortunately you can't rotate it. So for those that like the portrait mode, unfortunately you will need a separate stand. But luckily enough, it is a visa mount. So if you do have a spare stand lying around and you wanna have it in portrait mode, then you can. So like I mentioned, this isn't a gaming monitor. It's not aimed at gamers either. It's only at 60 Hertz, which is fine for the office or content creator. But when it comes to gamers, they like the 144 Hertz. So Unfortunately, this isn't for the gamers, but you can still play games on it, as I'm showing here. So at US $399 or Australian dollars, it's $599. The BenQ EW2770QZ monitor is definitely aimed at the professional market. But if you're serious about content creation and color reproduction, then this monitor is awesome. So what did you think of my first monitor review? Is there anything else that I should be doing with these? Then let me know down in the comments below because I'm wanting to do some more monitor reviews soon, so let me know down in the comments if you'd like any other 
tests to show off monitor capabilities. Thanks again to BenQ for sending this out. I'll be sending it back shortly. It's been great experiencing a professional grade monitor considering mine are only TN panels. So having an IPS is really been a treat and I might have to upgrade sometime soon. I've got a question for you. Are you a subscriber? If not, then hit that big red subscribe button down there. And also, if you are already a subscriber, then make sure you hit that bell icon too. If you can like and share this video with all your friends, that would be fantastic and it would really help this channel a lot. And as always, imagine, learn, create.